Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about how a person can build new topsoil. How do you do that, dear? It sounds challenging. Well, it can't be done, can it? Here's one of those things that when, when I was a kid and I was in school, I learned that topsoil, if it erodes, is just a terrible thing because it takes forever, literally forever, to build more topsoil. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Now, the erosion part was right on the money. You don't want to have erosion problems at all. But if you have had erosion problems, like I have on some of my ground that I just picked up here in the last couple of years, how do you fix that? How do you build that topsoil back up? That's what we want to talk about today. Okay, so where this all starts is, in a lot of cases, we have hilltops throughout the United States and really around the world, hilltops that have been eroded through wind erosion and rainfall erosion. And basically that topsoil is now gone. And so in some cases we're either down to the subsoil or we only have a little bit of topsoil left. Ideally to raise good crops, we'd like to have eight inches or even a foot of topsoil out there. That'd be great. So how are we going to build that? We're going to start with raising high residue crops. Well, the importance of high residue crops all comes back to building organic matter in our soils. That's one of the most important things as you're trying to build new topsoil. So the way you can do that is by doing less tillage and raising higher residue crops. So on our farm, for example, we'll raise crops like corn and wheat. They're higher residue crops than a crop like soybeans, for example. So when you plant more corn and more wheat and leave that root mass intact, we can build up our organic matter levels in our soil. Just to give you an example real quick with corn, it said that corn has about five times the root mass as soybeans. And what the studies have shown is if you can leave root mass intact, that's the best overall way to build organic matter and that will help build topsoil as time goes on. So we want to raise these high residue crops. We'll do less tillage. Less tillage will also help build that new topsoil that we're going to create. We're going to want to add manure because manure not only has a bunch of good nutrients in it. It also has beneficial bacteria and fungi. In addition to that, we'll probably use some beneficial bacteria and fungi with products like quick roots or there are other biological products we can add to the soil. So you do all these things and over time you actually can build new topsoil. We've seen it even on our own farm where we've been able to build topsoil literally in streaks where especially when we've injected manure deep down into the soil you can see a different color where we've put that manure a few years before we've built new topsoil and that's a lot of fun because that topsoil is so much more productive than subsoil but it's important as you build new topsoil to manage it properly if there was erosion before on the same hilltops that you're farming now you have to change the farming practices that are done on those hilltops to preserve that topsoil. So that means likely less tillage going forward. Maybe the rows were going down the hill and you can go across instead so water doesn't just run off the hill. It's not easy to build new topsoil. It does take some concerted effort. But to do it, you have to be conscious of the problems that were there before and solve those as well. So quite often when we're talking about topsoil and subsoil, the topsoil is going to have a dark color to it. The subsoil will, generally speaking, have a lighter color to it. So when you dig away, you have a soil cutaway, you dig down in the soil, you can literally see topsoil darker, subsoil less dark, or sometimes it's even bright yellow. Well, it just falls in line with the thinking of the American farmer. You want to try and leave things in better condition than when you got them. So if you can build more topsoil, your soils will be more productive. And then as you raise healthy crops and that residue breaks back down and, and the nutrients are released back into the soil, you build up the overall fertility in that soil. And that's a good thing for crops going forward. Yeah, so the farmer who is trying to build topsoil is going to focus on having good soil pH, good nutrient levels, raising a good crop, having good drainage out there, just every factor possible to raising a good crop. And over time, you can build that new topsoil up. Now, it's not going to happen overnight, but over 10 or 20 year period, you can build inches of topsoil. Well, all that is important, especially if you're out trying to control our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 